Hello everybody, I'm Blazer and back and welcome back to Blank Dream. Um what? I actually figured out you're supposed to take a decorative axe. And uh I don't know what that smashy smash was about. Take one. Okay, yes! Progress! Yes. Oh. Okay, and before anything else, I'm going to save. Well, the axe, of course. Really? Good grief. Do I need you? Hold on, was there some other tree I had to cut down? This one, maybe? Okay. I think we're cutting down the tree. <gasps> yes, something happened. I got firewood! Aw, oh, man. So now I've got firewood. What the heck? Nice sound. That's not pretty. No? <laughs> Why would I do that? You can't tell decorative ass axe from the fake one. That's kind of sad, actually. I have to somehow find a way to take this tree down. Oh! I just did that without even realizing what I was doing. The tree burned fiercely. Okay. Yes! Yay, another door! Woohoo! Another mirror! The mirror shows Mishiro's reflection. Look in. Six months ago, Mirror Lake. It's called, literally called Mirror Lake. Yeah, that's not obvious. Thinking back, it was a born life. Well, shit. I would say it was entirely devo devoid of enjoyment. What? But if you ask whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say it, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never ex even existed. Wow. More or less. Wow, Shiro! Mirror Lake. I might as well just test that rumor. What rumor? Mirror Lake, a lake in, in a desolate park, about a 20 minute train ride from home. There was no rumor about it. It was said, Hey, nice weather, huh? Uh, who? Hmm? I'm talking to you. No one else here, is there? Who is this kid? Guy. Who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student, but I noticed you staring at the lake with that hollow look. <laughs> Emphasis on the hollow. It's always a chance, so I thought I could call, should call out to you. Why? Do you even know who the hell I am? That's unnecessary. I'm not gonna jump in or anything. That's good to hear. There are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being get between our world and the afterlife. Oh, you think? Myself, I just see it being true to its name, reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. Daw, I love that. Hmm. 
You're probably thinking, this guy should talk a lot, huh? Probably. <laughs> you see, I'm going, going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. <laughs> You've really just blurted out like that? I said I'm not jumping in. <clears throat> ah, well that's good. Oh, I should mention, I'm Ayato Hinohara. I came to paint the park today. I'm not just trying to flirt. <laughs> Oh my god, flirting? Why tell me your name? Are you flirting? <laughs> yes, sir, are you flirting? I'm starting to wonder, Ayato. I just said I'm not! Introductions are our first step to breaking down barriers. <laughs> he's not flirting, he says. It's a, we thought it was a red alert, but it's okay, he's not flirting. <laughs> so what's your name? I'm not telling you. God, Shiro. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So you actually did come to paint. Well, of course, there's no other reason he would have the canvas, would he? You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think it was carrying this clunk clunky easel for show? <laughs> Probably. <clears throat> no, not really. Oh, well, if you're not here for suicide... You should stick around for a bit. I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still, it's lonely when no one's around. Ah. Any items which Michelle has in her, she does not have in the past and just cannot, thus cannot use, so she has to find another way. Let's talk to this guy. I have a better connection to Mirror Light, so just so my feet just carry me here. That's interesting, no, but I will see you in the next part. See ya!